Okay, Psalm 10, a prayer for the overthrow of the wicked. Why do you stand afar, O Lord? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? In pride, the wicked hauntily pursue the afflicted. Let them be caught in the plots which they have devised. For the wicked boasts of his heart's desire, and the greedy man curses and spurs the Lord, the wicked in the haughtiness of his contentment does not seek him, and his thoughts are, there is no God. His ways prosper at all times. Your judgment are on high, out of his sight. For all of his adversaries, he snorts at them. He says to himself, I will not be moved. Throughout all the generations, I will not be an adversary. His mouth is full of curses and deceit and oppression. Under his tongue is mischief and wickedness. He sits in the lurking places of the village. In the hiding places, he kills the innocent. His eyes stealthily watch for the unfortunate. He lurks in hiding places as a lion in his lair. He lurks to catch the afflicted. He catches the afflicted when he draws him into his net. He crouches, he bows down, and the unfortunate fall by his mighty ones. He says to himself, God has forgotten. He has hidden his face. He will never see it. Arise, O Lord, O God, and lift up your hand. Do not forget the afflicted. Why has your wicked spurn on God? He has said to himself, you will not require it. You have seen it, for you have beheld mischief and the vindiction to take it into your hand. The, the unfortunate commits himself to you. You have been the helper of the orphan. Break the arm of the wicked and the evildoer. Seek out his wickedness until you find none. The Lord is king forever and ever. Nations have perished from his lands. O Lord, you have heard the desire of the humble. You will strengthen their heart. You will incline your ear to vindicate the orphan and the oppressed so that man who is of the earth will no longer cause terror. Amen? Amen.